When we divide 48 by 2, what is the remainder? After solving this problem with long division, we can see that the remainder is 0. This means 48 is completely divisible by 2. But we can also tell this without actually performing the division. Over time, mathematicians have developed a set of rules called divisibility tests to help us quickly identify if a number is divisible by another number or not. For example, look at these numbers. Are they divisible by 2? You have 5 seconds to answer. Time's up! They are all divisible by 2. Let's take a closer look at them. What is common between the last digits of all the numbers? If you said they're all even, you're right. This means that if the last digit of any number is even, the whole number is divisible by 2, no matter what the rest of its digits are. Now, let's learn the divisibility rule of 3. The rule says, if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 3, the whole number is divisible by 3 as well. For example, take a look at these numbers. 3 plus 1 plus 8 is equal to 12, which is divisible by 3. This means that 318 will also be divisible by 3. Try checking this by doing some long division. Can you tell which group of numbers is divisible by 5? A or B? If you said group B, you're right. The divisibility rule for 5 says that if the last digit of a number is 0 or 5, that number is divisible by 5. Finally, the easiest divisibility rule of them all is of 10. It says that if the last digit of a number is 0, then the whole number is divisible by 10. Let's see these rules in action before we move on to practice. Look at this number. It's not divisible by 2 because the last digit is not even. But is it divisible by 3? The sum of all its digits is 18, which is divisible by 3. So, the actual number is divisible by 3 too. The last digit here is 5. So, this number is also divisible by 5. Is it divisible by 10? If you said no, you've got all the rules. 